In this video lesson, we're going to review the two most popular techniques used when playing the bass drum. They are the heels down method and the heels up. Let's start with the heels down. Here, you simply rest the heel of your foot at the base of the pedal at all times. Each stroke you play from this position uses a simple ankle motion. Now, this primarily uses the muscles on the front of your leg. This may be difficult when first starting out as these shin muscles are typically underdeveloped. However, the advantage is that you really don't have to use many leg muscles to control this motion. Some of the benefits to this technique include the ability to control the volume of each stroke and the fact that the beater naturally rebounds off the drum head. This gives excellent tone and is especially valuable in jazz drumming. The second and perhaps more popular method is the heels up. Here, you use your entire leg to perform each stroke. This takes the load off the shin muscles, but requires that you use more energy overall. Now, some drummers will bury the beater with each stroke, like this. This method provides a lot of power, but can limit the tone of the bass drum. You can also choose to rest the heel back a little bit between strokes. Now this still uses the leg for more power, but also rests the leg while allowing the beater to rebound naturally from the drum head. Let me demonstrate this. It's important to realize with both methods that you need to keep your foot in contact with the pedal at all times. If you just stomp on the pedal and remove your foot too fast, you'll have difficulty controlling each stroke, especially when you begin playing complex bass drum patterns within a beat. Watch as I play heels down once again. And now, heels up. If you don't keep in contact with the footboard, you allow the beater's momentum to bounce against the springs and you can really lose a lot of control. Now, some drummers will ask, which method is best? Which one should I learn? I would say if you're first starting to learn, focus on the one that is easiest for you. Don't let a simple technique choice slow down your progress. However, in the long run, it is best to learn both methods. Each option has various benefits for different styles of drumming, and neither should be ignored. Heels up is great for a variety of rock drumming styles, while heels down is best for jazz and many world styles. Ultimately, drumming is the most fun when you have options. Learning both techniques will give you those options. So take what you've learned here to the kit and have fun with it. 